What's up everybody? It's Easy, Easy Street Gaming, doing my first ever Clash Royale video. And I don't know about you, I don't know how many guys out there play Clash of Clans and made the transition to Royale. It's the most addictive game I've ever played. It also pisses me off at a level that I've never known imaginable. I, These people that talk trash while they play, I don't know. It's... <laughs> I've, uh, I know I can't record myself live because it's too embarrassing when I listen to it back. <laughs> I can't keep my cool for not even one single match. Uh, I guess it's um, because I fireball the grass. I, um, I seem to arrow the empty uh, uh, river. Um, <laughs> and I, I'm just constantly behind. So I, I, I'm getting carried here by Stewie02. Great player in the clan. Uh, I'm in Wild Karma's clan. Wild Karma is a longtime player of Damage Inc. He's now a leader of his own clan. Uh, so awesome clan that he's got in, in Clash Royale. Real lucky to be in his clan. And we are doing the the team, the the clan battles. Don't even know really what the hell it's called. Uh, I know that I'm doing pretty good on my own. And in these team games, it's really really fun, really addictive. I love playing them, but man, I I, I feel like I, I'm the crutch to whoever my teammate is. Um, but Stewie and I, uh, we did okay. Um, I think I played four or five matches with him. We did well every time. I think he's really just that good. <laughs> um, now I have the same kind of tactics. If you if you've been watching, see this is not a replay. This is actually live when I recorded it, so you don't get to see what he is playing. You're only getting to see my side of it. And you can see how I'm fumbling through this stuff. It's pretty bad. I play on my computer so you can see the mouse. And um, if you want to keep track of how many times I've tornadoed the air with nothing in there. Or fireballed myself and, and, and no troops be underneath it. It's, it's, it's amazing. I, I'm consistent. I do manage to get do a little help. Uh, now on the other hand Stewie... He's, he manages to put all the troops in at the perfect time. He's got all the right troops. Uh, he's got all these big powerful troops that he's, he's just handling all. He could have probably beat these guys by himself. I'm convinced of that by now. But I am there. I am there trying to help out. Um, holding them off right here. Right now we're, it's one tower to one tower. Uh, they have a lot of small troops that they keep on trying to put in on us, so we're just constantly fireballing them. And I have uh, one thing I like to use. I like to use the furnace. The furnace it does real well against the smaller troops, because as soon as you put the furnace down, it, it drops two of the little fire spirits. And no matter how many small troops are around, it'll take out ten or fifteen skeletons or goblins right away. So I think it's a real a, a good defensive. Um, uh, building but it's got low hit points and they keep on parking the damn uh, infernal towers behind on our side of the river but we've now backed them up and we have slowly backed them up and backed them up and now I've also got the um, the minion horde which that's a five troop and w so it takes a little while to get it out there so when you're behind it seems like those five elixir seconds are really just take forever I also like to use the Infernal Dragon because if you don't get on top of that Infernal Dragon quick, it will take down the towers fast. So I actually contributed there, just for the record. So easy and Stewie too. Winner of our first, don't cry. Come on guys. So I was quick to jump on it again as soon as he wanted as soon and now I didn't realize this but he had a friend of his in the clan they have I guess he's got a couple friends in the clan and they were trying to they were trying to play together and I kept jumping in sorry guys I didn't know so we all know that if you you hold the if you kind of like hold the button down or whatever you, you can see what troop your opponent or your teammates are about to put in so we can kind of organize things a little bit I know that there's all the kinds of these great plans that people use. I don't know them yet. I'm working on it. Yeah, so now, <laughs> this is something that you're going to see a lot. I know they're coming after our tower. And I know what I want to do. I want to put the minions in. And I'm just going to try my hardest. I'm at 3, 4. But we're going to keep on trying to click. Go, 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 go. Damn it, they won't go in in time. They're never going in time. And I managed to get them in right as the bomb goes off. And oh, then I get killed at the same time. <laughs> so.
son of a bitch. I don't know why that happens to me. It never happens to anyone else. So as soon as they do all that, they uh, they rocket us. And now they have this big giant cluster. See, this is where I'm good at. I can do one thing really well. I fireball things really well. I've learned that already. Early, early childhood pyromaniac, so... So now they also, this the, this uh, team, they loved the, using the Pika, and what I found is the Pika actually, we were we dismantled the Pika pretty easily because uh, Stewie has the Goblin Horde, so every time they put the Pika in, we managed to put the Goblin Horde on top of them. I was quick to try to put the Infernal Dragon down, and then between the Goblin Horde, the Infernal Dragon, and the Executioner, the, those Pikas don't stand much of a chance. They have high hit points, but they have such a slow swing rate that they were just, they didn't stand much of a chance for that. So now, I did I did have the rage spell. I tried to help out that way, and there's me in my famous furnace. I will I, I'll live or die by that furnace. I don't know uh, why everyone doesn't use it. Oh well, the rocket doesn't it doesn't stand much of a chance against a rocket. I don't know what. Uh, the electro wizard, you know, when you drop the electro wizard, it does damage to everything all around it. They put in the balloons. I was looking for the tornado, which I did a good job with that tornado. Put the tornado in, pull the balloons back, and now we have a little charge going with uh, with the prince and the infernal dragon. They freeze us, and I brought in the hog rider. And look at this! I contribute again. I, believe it or not, I actually contribute. This is two attacks in a row. <laughs> I had a lot of attacks where I was not contributing. <laughs> So that's why it's surprising on the replays. I, I feel like um, now watching watching the play after it doesn't look all that bad in the moment. I, I was I was kind of struggling. <laughs> so again, they bring Peek in. Executioner takes Peek down. The bandits in there. No, no, I'm sorry. That was Electro Wizard. Now, that Electro Wizard uh, again. I think Supercell does a good job. He has the perfect voice to grind you. I can't stand that sound of the damn Electro Wizard when he's. <laughs> <laughs> and I know they do it on purpose. So now we have two Infernal Dragons in there. I, Stewie brought an Infernal Dragon. I brought an Infernal Dragon. We, no, neither one of us have cloned. Now I've, I've noticed that in, uh, Infernal Towers really popular. I, I know a lot of a lot of opponents we had brought the Infernal Infernal Towers, and they're a great distraction. They don't have incredibly high hit points, and it takes them a little while to build up that that big beam. That does high damage and they usually don't get up to that full damage before they get destroyed but they still do distract really well off, off of your towers and here's another good use for the furnace put the furnace in that that kind of distracted the troops a little while the execution came in took care of them and pika comes in surrounded them with the goblin horde again a little help by the bandit and again, this is the same kind of cycle. You know, you've no, you've seen the same cycle over and over and over again. It seems like it goes back and forth. They get a little push on us. We do this big defensive stand. We got two infernal dragons up again. And now at this point, two infernal dragons up, fireballing them. And if these infernal dragons light up, that's it. And I think they did. Yeah, we just got a third infernal dragon in. Those are some pretty nasty troops. Infernal dragons. I'd like to see those in Clash of Clans. This one right here, we started off in progress. Um, this is when I found out that Ryan and Stewie, Ryan44 and Stewie02, they knew each other. And so I wanted to see what they could do together. And they played pretty well as a team. Um, I actually recorded several of their games, but just decided to, to show the first one. After that, they, they were trying some really complex things. And... Uh, but now they have, they have some really big troops going in on both sides. You had the Barbarians rushing in on the right-hand side with an Executioner behind them. You got Pico rushing in on the right-hand side. At this point, that puts the other side in, in a pretty big predicament. Have Executioners backing up both the Pikas and the, and the Barbarians. And it looks like the, the Pika is going to make it all the way to the tower. Nope, they distracted the right at the last second with whatever that dude is with a knife. I think he's kind of useless. I don't know. <laughs> Hog Riders now. Hog Riders, they, they seem to do real well. They don't stop for anything, but you can put in some some um, 
high DPS troops and chop away at, at the hog rider on his way to the tower. But if you let him get to the tower, he's going to take one to 200 dam uh, uh, hit points off the tower if he gets to it right away. And in this game, this is a game of, you know, you're trying to get one or 200 uh, hit, po hit points at a time. So it looks like the guys from the Smash Brothers, they got these, uh, this Carlos and Gabo guy here, uh, got them on the ropes. Both towers are almost down, and they're starting to make a push at both towers at the same exact time. So you, they must, they must start, they must be feeling it right now. Both towers are under severe distress, and uh, if I remember correctly, this is going to be one of those unique times where both towers go down at the same exact time. Boom. That's gotta feel good. You have two executioners, both on the main tower. But just just that quickly, there goes one tower, and a hog rider's coming in. And it's like, this is a back and forth game. So now we, we're the one with the PK. It, 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 it's pretty easily dismantled. And they're just gonna run out of time. Five, four, three, and we got got a, a side tower up still tons of troops out in front another good game don't cry come on man I try not to do that I know that they have they, they, they have to have some kind of pleasure out of uh, out of us crying about it <laughs> so this is this right here is me and Ryan so Stewie stepped aside, let me and Ryan go at it. And I think Stewie's a little stronger player than Ryan is. I, I don't, I'm not sure. I, I, I think I'm gonna have to check out exactly how strong. I know we have some guys in the clan that they play at, at one of the top leagues. Me, I'm stuck. I get stuck right between the ice and the, and the jungle league. And I'm gonna start recording some of my own play because um, I think I can do a better job of actually explaining what I'm doing. And even though I'm no expert at all, um, I think <laughs> you may not learn anything, but you'll certainly be entertained by how by what I do. <laughs> I'm in straight panic mode 95% of the time. Sometimes I look good. And what I would suggest for, for you if you're new at this is you watch other people in your clan play. You're, you can watch them when you, when you first come on. Um, click on your entire clan and it will have a list of everyone and they'll be at that red eyeball if someone's attacking live and watch what they're doing and just duplicate you can they, they have an awesome thing it's uh, Clash Royale TV and that shows all of the best players attacking each other you can see that I mean it's something that I wish that Clash of Clans did when they, you could watch some of the best uh, players attack each other hopefully maybe they uh, the May 17 update will have something similar to that um, but in Royale you can watch the best players fight each other and and by doing that you can kind of duplicate what they do uh, I learned a long time ago if you want to get really good at something you don't try to reinvent it just copy what a good player does you know um, and, and once you get good at it then you can start making your own strategy and, and kind of doing your own thing but until you're until you're an expert at it copy the experts you might get lucky and actually duplicate what they do and understand it so here we are, we're trying to defend an onslaught of troops and uh, doing okay, but we haven't taken down one of the towers. And so this is when I realized that um, Stewie was uh, pretty much carrying me because I wasn't able to help Ryan that much. And we go down pretty hard right here, I think. And, and Ryan's not a bad player, so this one's going to have to go on easy. Tried to put that balloon in at the last second. It fell short. Son of a... So, last battle we're going to record. If I remember correctly, this is a great one. They start off right away talking with their crying. Maybe they were trying to organize something. I don't know. Well, got a good push going right away. Uh, 
I got the Inferno Dragon on the Lava Hound. That's one of the best things out that I found is if you see a Lava Hound crossing over the river, try to get an Inferno Dragon on it right away. And it, it, it will usually pop it before it reaches the tower. Just have to watch out for them putting minion, a minion horde on your uh, Inferno Dragon. So we got out of that one pretty well. And here comes uh, the Hog Rider, Electro Wizard, getting ready to put the furnace in. I like to keep a steady, I, I like to try to keep the furnace in there at all times because that keeps us a steady flow of these little fire spirits. And the fire spirits do a good job of taking care of all of the smaller troops. And if we can stay ahead of the game, uh, we can keep that Inferno Tower, I mean the, uh, the furnace behind. Yeah, well played, prick. <laughs> Sorry about that. It gets way worse live though. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if we can stay ahead, I can put the the Inferno Tower. Jeez, uh, again, the uh, the furnace behind the towers, and then it stays alive a lot longer. But when 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 I see a balloon coming or a hog rider coming or something like that, then I just put that defensive building out in front and it's kind of a sacrifice. I know it goes down a lot faster, but at least that keeps them off the tower. Now this deck that I'm playing with is a lot different than the last one. This is a deck that I played when I when I play solo a lot more. And uh, and Ryan was using a deck that had that uh, that lightning in it. And believe me, that lightning just did so much. He had stopped so many big attacks with that lightning bolt. And here they come in with a with a giant. Now this is always dangerous. They have a giant coming in. They have a wizard coming in behind it. Caught it right away with a caught it right away with a tornado. Then we hit the clone spell on the executioner. So we had four executioners for a second. Stopped the giant altogether. Um, did a good job of poisoning the grass something I'm, I'm great at and we're just about to run out of time but I believe Ryan's gonna save us on this one in sudden death and there goes the lightning done <laughs> and they tried to beat us to it with a laugh <laughs> uh, so Clash Royal first time ever I'm gonna try this out I, I really enjoy playing the game. It's so addictive for me. It's very, very, um, it, it frustrates me to no end, but I think that's part of the enjoyment in it. I, I, I guess I'm one of those people that enjoy getting mad sometimes. <laughs> I don't know, is that sadistic? But like the video if you liked it. Uh, I can't see it getting any better as far as my gameplay, but I, we're going to try. So appreciate you guys for watching. Until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.